Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. Today we're going to show you Ventura like a local. Alright, so today we're telling you our favorite spots as locals to Ventura, California and when to go, where to go, what to see, what to do, where to hike, etc. So if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this. So first up, we wanted to take you guys to our favorite coffee shop in town. Beacon Coffee. I've been going there for like two years now and it is so superior to the Bucks, guys. It's not even funny. To the Bucks. To the Bucks. I'm actually a collective member there now. Out of all the coffee shops in Ventura, there's a lot. We would recommend this one or... I like Singing Sun Coffee too, down on Main Street. That is the other one we were going to recommend. So Singing Sun and Beacon, if you guys want a nice place to start the morning and go to sun after sunrise. It is sunrise. a little pricier than like your normal coffee, but it's but, good coffee. So. And it supports all the small businesses in Ventura. So highly recommend checking it out. All right, off we go. best places in Ventura to get anything fish related. We just got a clam chowder in a bread bowl and it was so delicious. But if you're into like fish and chips, um, we talked to some people who absolutely love the charbroiled fish here. We definitely recommend checking it out. where we had one of our first breakfast dates out here in Ventura. It has amazing pancakes, waffles. Pete's is the place to check out. We highly recommend it. Just be aware that there's usually a wait if you are trying to eat here. Alright you guys, we are now at Arroyo Verde Park. This is one of our favorite spots to go and hammock and relax. And it, slackline. Yes, it's such a beautiful park. There's a bunch of beautiful hiking trails as well around here. That, that are dog friendly. Yes, they're all dog friendly which is really, really cool. This video is also sponsored by Outdoor Enthusiasts. This is their hammock with the extra long straps. As you saw when we were setting it up, we are in between probably like 30 feet of trees. I have never seen such long hammock straps in my life. I really like that the hammock comes all in one. You don't have to get the straps and the hammock separate. It all can fit in one container. Another thing that I really like about it is how far you can reach. Like Giselle said, the fabric feels amazing. This It's is, really comfortable. This is their double hammock. This is their red and blue one. You know that we love our red jackets. We love jackets. our bright <laughs> colors, yes. But this, so far we have been loving this hammock. We definitely recommend checking it out. We'll link it down below for you guys. So I've also actually never set up the hammock before. Usually Steven or one of our friends sets up the hammock. And right out of the bag, this was super easy to learn how to set up. This is what the hammock looks like after it is all cleaned up. Everything from the package when you first received the product to the experience putting it back in the hammock and pulling it out was a really nice process. It was so easy, super friendly, and I love all the little details that went into it. So once again, thank you outdoor enthusiasts. So whenever we're home for a weekend and we're not out exploring other places, we will hang around the beach here or we will head on up the coast towards Santa Barbara. Um, and that's about a 30 to 45 minute drive from Ventura. If you missed that video, we actually did Santa Barbara like a local as well, but, and we'll link it up here for you and in the description down below. But if you are in the area and you want to do something really fun too along the water, if you look out over there, you can see the Channel Islands. And so there's this area where from Ventura or Oxnard Harbor, you can actually take a boat out to the Channel Islands and camp out there or just do a day trip Definitely recommend checking out the Channel Islands if you've never been. 
Schoolhouse Beach is right next to Pierpont Elementary and it's just really nice because it's way less crowded than a lot of our most popular beaches that we have here so if you're looking for a beach that's a little more off the hidden path we would definitely recommend checking this one out. So right now we are on the beach walk right next to the Ventura Pier. This spot over here is called Surfer's Point. It has one of the some of the best waves that we've seen in Ventura. You might also want to check out C Street if you guys are looking for some nice surfing. But this is one of our favorite walks as well as you can come here and ride your bikes. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. If you're looking for a place to grab a drink in Ventura, one of our favorite spots is Made West. It's right on the pier. Our favorite time to come is right during sunset. It does get busy, so plan on arriving a little bit earlier. They have one of my favorite IPAs in the entire city, and it, they have two different locations. So there's one location on the pier, as well as there's one in an industrial location if you want a little bit more room. Patagonia was actually founded in Ventura, California. So this is actually Patagonia's headquarters. I'm sure you guys have heard of the brand. It's like our favorite brand for outdoors equipment. We have their jackets, their pants, their everything. The story behind it and everything that Patagonia stands for. So our favorite burrito, taco shop, anything in town is Corrales. So it's right on Thompson. There's two locations. If you go early in the morning, they'll give you a lot more for your money. So make sure to check out Corrales. So we are up here next to Sarah Cross right now, or we call it the Cross. It's one of the best lookouts in all of Ventura. We think this is a beautiful spot for sunrise or sunset. We tend to come for sunset. Just because you can watch the sun go down directly over the ocean, so it's always so gorgeous. While you're down in the city, if you look up on the hills, you can probably see the foothills one, if you look to the very right, that's Topa Topa. It's a beautiful mountain if you want like more of an adventurous hike. And all the way to the left is the cross. This is like the farthest hill that you can look over the ocean all the way down to the pier. And then two trees is also up here too. There used to be 13 trees. Now there's barely one just because we've been in a drought for quite a few years. And some fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still a beautiful area though. Highly recommend coming up here to Sarah Cross to check out the view for sunset. And on your way back from Sarah Cross, you can head on down to the Botanical Gardens in Ventura. They're beautiful, especially during the spring. So um, yeah, just make sure to add that to your Ventura bucket list. Also get a really nice view of the Ventura Harbor from up here. That's where we just came from down below. It's got lots of restaurants and great places to just go. That's where Made West is. Um, that's where some really great tacos are. And so if you're just looking to kick it down by the beach, it's a really chill area. You can ride your bike, walk your dog, um, lots of stuff to do down there. And it's right next to Main Street. So if you park in the parking garage over on Main Street, so the pier down there, some of our favorite spots to go are Finney's. It's this delicious kind of all American spot where you can go and eat. Um, we also like to go to Lure Fish House for date night, really yummy stuff. And then another one is Rice by Mama or Rice by Mama 2. There's, There's two of them. Just because it got so busy downtown, everyone loves it. So if you guys are in the mood for some Thai, make sure to check that out. There's also a lot of good thrift shopping down on Main Street. Mm -hmm. So if you're into thrift shopping or if you need to sell some clothes, Buffalo Exchange is down there. So. Yeah, make sure to check out downtown. It's one of our favorite spots, especially on a beautiful day like today. It is the middle of February right now. So we're in winter and it's 70 degrees out, perfect weather, which is the nice thing about Ventura. We would say if you guys are gonna come, try and come right around like April, May time. Don't come too late in May or close to June, just because we do get some June too. gloom. Some of the most perfect time I think as a local is September and October. That's like our prime months. Just because the weather's really nice, we don't have any fog in the morning, and the days are quite longer than they are during winter. All right, you guys, that is a wrap on our day in Ventura. We wanted to take you around. We've been locals here. I grew up here ever since I was a kid, and those are some of my favorite spots. So if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and post notification bell so you can see all of our content that's just like this going forward. And let us know down in the comments what you think would be your favorite part of Ventura if you guys visited. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure.